This video will cover the LFSR and the standard cell layout of it. The linear feedback shift register, known as the LFSR, is made up of a few components, mainly shift registers and basic logic gates, depending on the type of pattern required. This example in the video shows a pattern is being generated by the LFSR which is made up of four shift registers and a XOR gate. In this video, the example used will be a LFSR that is made up of four defeat flops and two XOR gates. This is the schematic that the layout will be based on. All the required components such as the basic logic gates and defeat flops have already been created as standard cells. Since all standard cells in the same library have the same pitch and positioning of the input and output pins, the construction of the LFSR can be carried out quickly and efficiently by simply joining the standard cells with each other in virtual soul. Next, we will cover the creation of the LFSR layout. First, create a new cell in the library where the standard cells are stored. Select Virtual Soul when creating the cell. It is the design tool that we will be using to build the layout of the LFSR. In the blank layout editor window, click on Instance to bring out the standard cells that have already been created for use. In this case, we will first bring out the 4D flip-flops. Enter a 4 in the columns text box. This feature allows us to paste 4D flip-flops side by side all at one time conveniently. Then, join the real connections such as the VDD, clock and ground together by drawing a rectangle with the required layers. In here, the metal one layer is used to join the VDD, clock and ground. The connection of the rail lines is a simple task because all the standard cells in this library are designed to have the same pitch and the same thickness of the rail lines. Fill in the gap for the end well too. Remember to change the layer to end well. Make sure that all connections are complete to prevent any DRC errors later. Do the same for the three other D flip-flop. Next, using the same technique, place the two XOR gates on the right side of the four D flip-flops. Remember to enter a 2 in the columns text box. Try to place the two XR gates as closely to the 4D flip-flops as possible. You may use a ruler to help align them together. Any additional module required will be placed on the left or right side of the parent module. Their interconnections will be done on the bottom side later on. After all the real connections are completed, we must join the interconnections. We can refer to the schematic to see which are the points that are connected to each other. In here, we will join the output of an XR gate to the input D of the flip-flop. In the layout editor window, remember to turn on pin names in the display option of the layout editor so that we can know which pin does the layers represent. We are going to join the output of the XR gate, Z, to the input 
of the D flip flop D using a polysilicon layer. Now we will proceed to join up the rest of the interconnections between the submodules of the LFSR. We must be alert when connecting the modules up as there are quite a number of input and output pins. Joining up the incorrect pins will result in an error. After all the interconnections are completed, it will look like this. All interconnections should be kept within a specific area and must not be extended to violate other keep up areas. Check to make sure that all interconnections are complete and done with the correct layer. After finishing the connections, we must run a DRC check to look out for any violations of the specified design rules. Check the log viewer after the DRC run, ensure that there is no DRC errors. Any mistakes should be corrected before moving on. Upon a successful DRC run, we can proceed to extracting the layout. Check the log viewer again to ensure that the extracting process has completed without any errors. Open the extracted layout and perform a LVS check. This will check the integrity of the connections such as nets, terminals and properties like gate widths. Make sure all cell and library names are entered correctly. Click on Run. Once the check is completed, click on Output. A successful layout will show a net list match status in the output window.